This is a short video demonstrating the sonar anatomy and technical performance of ultrasound guided transmuscular quadratus lumborum block. Patient is placed in lateral decubitus position with the block side up. For this block, the perfect ergonomic would be both the patient and operator facing the ultrasound machine. A low frequency curvilinear ultrasound transducer is used. First, palpate for the costal margin and iliac crest. The transducer is placed in a transverse orientation at the mid axillary to posterior axillary line in between the costal margin and iliac crest. We will be able to see the peritoneal cavity, the kidney with its rounding fat, and the three layers of abdominal wall muscles, namely the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus abdominis. To identify the quadratus lumborum muscle, slide the probe from anterior to lateral following the tapering abdominal wall muscles. The aponeurotic sheets of the transversus abdominis and the internal oblique is seen joining together. Follow this aponeurosis and it will be seen lining a hypoechoic triangular shaped muscle structure at its lateral posterior surface. This structure is the quadratus lumborum muscle. Now take a look at the big picture to visualize the shamrock sign. Look for the transverse process. At this level, it is usually the transverse process of L2 or L3 vertebra. The transverse process will be the stem of the shamrock, pointing towards the quadratus lumborum muscle as one of the leaves. The other two leaves of the shamrock are the psoas muscle anteriorly and the erector spinae muscle posteriorly. Note that the quadratus lumborum is usually more hypoechoic in comparison to the other two muscles. Another method to identify the relationship of the relevant sonar anatomy structures as mentioned is to look for the thumbs up sign. Transverse process is the thumb with the vertebra body as the knuckles. The thumb points to the quadratus lumborum. The structure at the knuckle side, which is anterior, is the psoas. And the structure behind the thumb is the erector spinae muscle. The depth of the image usually needs to be increased to get this view. An 80 mm block needle is inserted in plane from the posterior end of the transducer. The needle will go through the quadratus lumborum muscle. The target area for local anesthetic deposition is the facial plane between the quadratus lumborum and the psoas major muscle. After negative blood aspiration, local anesthetic is injected while observing a space opening up between the quadratus lumborum and psoas. The recommended dosage of local anesthetic per side is in the range of 20 to 30 ml of 0.2 to 0.5% rupivacaine or 0.1 to 0.25% rupivacaine. The dosage needs to be adjusted to ensure toxic levels are not exceeded, particularly when bilateral blocks are performed. This block can be done as single injection or catheter technique for continuous analgesia.